Many reasons emerged during the global epidemic process combined with the container crisis, creating a domino effect and an international shipping crisis. The stages and causes of the shipping crisis vary throughout 2021. It is necessary to examine the issue on the axis of the three dominant regions of international trade, the USA, the EU, and the Far East. The dimensions and causes of the crisis differ in each region, but there are many common points. In this process, where ship voyages are disrupted and container prices have risen nearly 10 times, every actor integrated into international trade pays a heavy price. Manufacturers in need of intermediate goods, exporters who finance their sales in a cycle, and importers with a deadline are all hit hard by the shipping crisis. The empty container crisis started on the sea route with the epidemic, where 90% of world trade was carried out. The fact that ships were kept at ports for days due to epidemic measures and the import-export balance deteriorated caused a container shortage in global trade. While the containers were waiting empty in some ports, because exports could not be made, both ships and containers had to wait for weeks for loading-unloading operations due to the density in some ports. Factories started working again in 2021, and many sectors entered the normalization process gradually. However, at the beginning of the pandemic, due to the containers jammed in US and European ports, the deadlines for materials produced in China were delayed. Moreover, since production started late in the USA and Europe, containers waiting at the docks had to return to Asian ports empty. The normalization process has slowed down the epidemic, but COVID-19 cases continue. On the other hand, transactions of all customs points, including ports, are progressing more slowly than before. Problems caused by shortages of dockers and truckers are other factors that hinder the supply chain. Finally, the shipment crisis increases exponentially due to the problems brought by bad weather conditions with autumn. The increase in freight rates by 100% 400% has also received an intense reaction in the global market. The European importer and exporter brought the container crises to the competent institutions. However, the common opinion of the logistics sector representatives and the export-import industry is that the fluctuation in transportation prices will continue in 2022. Even the most optimistic forecasts point to two to three years for the sector's prices to recover. Of course, if all goes well. Freight prices vary seasonally and regionally, but in the first 10 months of 2021, 40 container prices between Europe and China have increased tenfold. Shipping costs, around US$2,000-$3,000 before COVID-19, are sometimes up to US$20,000. Worse still, some exporters cannot find containers for the due cargoes. Freight costs between US and Chinese ports increased by about seven cards compared to the pre-pandemic period. In the Northern Hemisphere, processes such as winter, snow, wind, and the closure of terminals will adversely affect shipping times. It is already certain that there will be extra waiting times in the winter months for ports in Europe, except for Hamburg and Antwerp. The epidemic measures in the ports will increase even more in winter. Considering the lack of truck drivers or the inefficient operation of inland waterways in winter conditions across Europe, the problems already experienced in the ports of Rotterdam in the Netherlands and Felixstowe in the UK will increase exponentially. News about the lack of drivers started in the UK, but the problem is happening all over Europe. Imagine that a ship carrying an average of 10,000 containers is docking at a port. Some of the containers are unloaded in the warehouses at the port, and the cargo inside is transported to the unloading address by trucks. Some of the containers are loaded on the truck and thus go to the final unloading address. In short, the shortage of truck and lorry drivers affects the transportation of containers and thus the ship traffic. There is a shortage of around 100,000 drivers in the UK due to Brexit. The average need for extra truck drivers in Germany is 80,000. Across the EU, 400,000 additional drivers are needed. Shipping delays and congestion problems at ports on the US Pacific coastline continue. However, when the August-September-October 2021 data were analyzed, it is seen that the figures give slightly more positive signals. However, rising oil prices on a global scale mean that transportation costs will continue to grow, even if container demands do not increase. 
big retailers like Home Depot and Costco have resorted to chartering to get around the container crisis. Compared to small retail stores, the supply problem these companies will experience could cause a market crisis across the USA. At this point, not only retail giants, but also MNCs are trying to produce their own solutions. For example, Coca-Cola shipped 60,000 tons by a bulk carrier to overcome the container supply crisis. China is the country with the most significant shipping traffic in the world. It is the world's largest exporter and also the second largest importer. China uses the capacity power of being the leading actor in container traffic. Across the EU, there is a prevailing opinion that China is putting pressure on ship owners. Seasonal deals by Chinese companies and public enterprises are triggering an increase in container prices in the spot markets. In the fall of 2021, hundreds of container ships are on the horizon to dock at Hong Kong and Shenzhen ports. Waiting for containers points to a process that clogs global supply chains, increases consumer prices in Europe and the USA, and even many products cannot be supplied. For example, most of the orders for special days such as Easter and Christmas are missed. Compared to the USA and Europe China still applies the pandemic measures very strictly. In August, due to a single case of COVID, the port of Ningbo operated extremely slowly for two weeks, with extraordinary security measures. China's container manufacturing is working to increase the number of container ships and renew the infrastructure in ports. However, there will not be an increase in the number of ships until 2023, and the rise in the number of containers at rates that will relieve the sector will only be possible in the middle of 2022. According to Kuen Plus Nagel's data, in November, 584 container ships worldwide were held in port to load or unload containers. This figure represents the delay in the delivery time of hundreds of thousands of containers.